Let's do something a little more complicated with our base 5 vertical abacus. Uh, I want to convert the other direction this time. I want to convert a base 10 number into base 5. So I want to convert the base 10 number 100, which I can use that word because it's base 10, into base 5. Okay, how do I do that? Well, I'm trying to find out how many beads go on these wires. I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure that out. So, what you do is you start here at the ones wire and say, well, I only have four beads on the ones wire. So if I put all four beads on here, that's worth four, and then I'm out of beads. So I, I can't start with this wire. Uh, let's go to a different wire and, and, and try this one. I have four beads on this one. Uh, each one is worth five, so that's up to 20, but the number I'm trying to convert is, is bigger than that, so, so let's keep going. Uh, I have enough uh, beads on this one to express 100, but realize that I can't use anything on this wire because each one of these beads is worth 125. So I can't put any, any beads on this one. I have to start here at the uh, 25's wire. So you start pulling beads across and count up by 25 until you get to a number less than uh, 100 or perhaps equal to 100. That's 25. That's 50. That's 75 and that's 100. So I've counted four beads at 25 each, that's 100. What is that in base five? Well, I have four beads on the 25s and none and none. So 100 in base 10 is represented as 400 zero zero in base five. Let's try a more complicated conversion of a base 10 number using our base five vertical abacus. Uh, here's the problem I'm going to solve. 267 in base 10 is what on the base 5 abacus? Okay, so to solve this problem, we proceed like we did before. I want to hold this up so we can still see it. So we start at the ones wire. Uh, there are only four beads on the ones wire, so I can't use that one at all. I have to move over to the, to the fives wire. There are four beads on the fives wire. Uh, four times five is 20, so that's still too small. Uh, 25, I have four beads that I can put onto the 25's wire, but that's only 100. So I have to go over to the 125 wire. Um, I, I can't use the wire above that because that's too big, so let's, let's start putting some over on this one. Uh, so I start counting by 125, so there's 125. There is 250. If I try to put another, wire, another bead on the wire, it, it's too big. That, that's, uh, that's 375, I can't use that one. So let's shift over to the next wire. Uh, 25, each one of these is worth 25. I'm at 250 right now. If I try to put this on there, 250, that's 275. Oh, that's too big. So I've got to leave this wire blank. Let's go to the next wire. I'm at 250. Uh, that's 255. 260. 265. I uh, can't put another one. That's 270. That's too big. I have to shift over to my ones wire. Uh, I'm at 2. Uh, 265, 266, 267. Okay, so the number 267 in base 10, uh, if I convert that into base 5, should be 2032. Ah, oh, there it is, 2032 in base 5 is 267 base 10. Let's use our base 2 vertical abacus to now convert from base 10 into base 2. So I want to convert this number, which is the number 5 in base 10. What does that look like in base 2? Okay, well, we do the same procedure. We go through, uh, starting with the 1's wire, and we ask, how many uh, beads can I put on this wire? I only have the 1. Uh, 1 is, is not enough to make 5, so I have to shift over to the next wire. I need to make 5. Uh, uh, this 1 bead uh, is worth 2, so that's not enough. I don't have any more beads on that wire, so I have to shift over to the next one. Um, four, I have one on that one, so, so four, that's fine. Uh, if I had to go to the next wire, eight's too big, so I, I can't use the eight's wire. I have to start with the four's wire. Okay, so there's one on the four's wire. Uh, our five, uh, four plus two, that's not going to work. That, that's six, that's too big, so skip this wire. Um, come over here to the one's wire. I have one on the four's wire, one on the one's wire, that adds up to five, and that's the number I'm trying to represent. And if we look at that in base 2, it turns out that 5 in base 10 can be expressed as 101 in base 2. So I should mention that the, the vertical abacus is not a common form of an abacus. Most of the time the wires are, are tilted sideways because the, the, the beads would slide around on them. 
Um, so I want to express a number on, on this one and then show you what it would look like on a, on a regular kind of abacus. So here are some beads on the vertical abacus. Um, here's the vertical abacus, uh, the wires held vertically, and then when you turn it sideways to turn it into an actual abacus, a useful kind of thing, um, we, we see that they are, are labeled sideways like that. I'm going to express the same number on this horizontal abacus, and then we're just going to read the number off of the horizontal abacus. So here's the number on the vertical abacus. Here is the number on the horizontal abacus. I've just copied the number of beads on there. to look it sideways. So how do we read this? Well, you just write the number of beads on every wire. You put a point right below the ones wire. That separates the whole number from the fractions. Then you just read it off. 203.05 or 203.05.